All right, hole 16 out here at Sanctuary Ridge. Great hole, dog leg left. Uh, we're gonna be taking a three wood today. It's about 410 yards. Just wanna hit it right at the candy cane pole there. And we'll be in good shape to have about 150 yards into the green. Let's go, let's bounce back birdies, let's go. If you guys didn't know, welcome to part three. I'm plus two, Neil is plus one. Time to uh, bounce back birdies. Absolutely smoked. Right there. Great ball. Great ball. Gonna be a great shot in. Thank you. All right. A little bit of frustration in that swing, Neil. Did it look like it? Just a little. I mean, I'm not a you know sports psychologist or anything like that. But... I like to channel it in a positive way towards the ball. It's positive. Yes, positive. <laughs> All right, good swing here. Feel like you hit that three wood earlier. Yeah, like that three wood. Just think of those good shots. You can do it. Great aim, that's excellent. Oh man, he, oh, he's loving that. That's that old patented two finger buttercut there he loves that yes he does oh my gosh he just dropped a UPS package by mine uh, thank you very little for all right we left ourselves in good shape here I got 150 to the pin it's a great shot I love hitting the shot the winds definitely hurting so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that shot I did on the video the other day where I'm gonna hit that little stinger knock down eight iron now I'm gonna try to kill it but I'm gonna flight it down so this wind doesn't need it off Boy, hit that well. Hit it low. Just got to go a little bit. That is good shot. That, that's that's good a shot. good shot. Yeah. Real good. All right. Now it's my turn. Now if Neil hit an eight from there, I'm thinking nine from where I'm at. I'm about 15 yards closer. It would be a pitching wedge, but with that wind, and as you can see, being short. Um, He's not. Let's talk about where you're going to be. Uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> let's talk about uh, you're going to be right under that hole about three feet, tap in birdie. Oh, that sounds good. Yep, so just make your patented beautiful little knockdown swing. What club you got? 9-9. Nine, nine. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. A little bit too far right. You're right in my ball. Better. He is right at my ball. It's coming in a little bit, though. Let's look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Well, you're going to give me a line this time. <laughs> so there's mine. There's his. Okay, so we're we're in a safe part of the green. But we want to go there more so. If you miss it left, we've missed left. And, boy, it's almost impossible up and down. So that was a very safe shot. we got to putt at it. All right, we're here. Well, not as close as we would like. But still, we are putting for birdie. So whenever you can say that, it is not a bad thing. I think uh, I right, think Neil is barely shot. away. Grain is going towards, so we're, it's uphill and we're into the grain. So, uh, yeah, if you guys didn't hear him, he says uh, we are definitely uphill yep. and definitely into the grain. Neil, just check the cup. So we are definitely due. We said bounce back birdies. This, these are going to be some pretty theatrical birdie putts here. And uh, if for some reason the camera cuts out and the ball rolls in magically, I, I can't handle technical problems like that, so. Wow, that was a good putt, about a foot. That is a really good putt. I'm gonna leave it there, you won't get that. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna give that to you. Okay, well, thank you. Hey, well, you know, I'm a generous guy. You saw that break, so if he's a really good putter, he'll make this because he got a similar line. No pressure or he nothing. He's just but... a really good putter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you guys haven't figured out already, I don't do this for a living. If he I would, did, he I'd would, be a lot skinnier. He, he would like to, though. Oh, who wouldn't? I'd be a lot skinnier if I had to do this for a living. 
wouldn't be buying much food. <laughs> All right, good roll, man. Oh, that's a good aim. Looks like you got a good aim point there. walk this in oh my gosh that could go in that could go oh it didn't break he hit it so pure it didn't hit the it didn't take the grain oh my god Neil. oh all right pick those up we'll let you see how close these are i mean these aren't four footers these are gimmies i know so there we go thank you tap mine in for me thank i don't you. know you might miss oh, it oh my gosh are you serious oh, no. oh, oh. My gosh. all right Damn. so we are still i'm one over kyle's two over we're heading to 17. See you on the next hole. All right, hole 17. It's a great hole. You have options here. It's 310 yards up that hill. I'm not going to be tempted because if you don't hit it on that green, you got an upslope. The lie could be bad. So I'm going to play a smart play. There's a second lever up there. I'm going to hit an 18 degree. Hit about 210. It should have like a flip wedge in there. And I'll take my chances with that. All right, you got it. Get up the hill. Oh, I'm down the hill. I'm down the hill. All right. They don't listen very well. We got to get different balls that listen better. All right, that's all right. I'll take it. Okay, here comes Kyle. He's going to hit his three utility iron two. He's got a topless. He usually hits the stain really good. Get up. He usually hits the stain 220, 230-ish. It's good aim, good setup, good swing. Oh man, he just hit that little baby two finger butter cut again. Get up that hill. Oh, oh, and oh no. It's like, there. no, it hung on there, I think. I think it's, it's yeah. close to the top. Yeah, good swing. Good move at it. All right, Neil hit a good drive. He's got a little bit of an awkward stance, but nothing he can't handle. He's professional, folks. Professional. All right, let's see what he can do here. We got an elevated shot he's hitting into. Saw a drop right there. Probably saw that in the frame. I, it's hard to tell. Sounded like you hit it good. Yeah. All right. I, other hand is right over there. Handy over to Neil here. I think I got a what, 90. Yeah, 93, just got to make sure you get the slope right. Like, I had an upslope there. I had to angle my shoulders with the slope so I could hit it solid. Ball went straight in the air, but that's all you can do. That's why we wanted to hit it in that level spot, but yeah. <laughs> uh, it just didn't happen. <laughs> Did not happen. So that's why you need to know how to do these setup things when you're playing hilly courses because, you know what, every shot's a little different. Yeah, a lot different. And you have to change what club you're hitting. Like, I hit one extra club there. All right, get set up. Paul's going to tend to want to go a little bit left off this above his feet. Let's see what he does. Oh, it. A little, a little fast. I think it's going to be a little bit long. Yeah, a little bit long. All right, we'll see. That's tough. Those lies. Yeah. You have to really ground those legs in there. Yep. All right, we both. Went over the green a little bit. I'm just a shade off. I had a little pitch shot. He's bladed it back here. He's got a really tough shot here. Let's see what he can muster out of this. Some kind of bump and run, looks like. I can salvage par bogey here. That'd be great. Bogey wouldn't be that bad. Okay, this looks like it's a really good shot. Wow. Wow. Can you say Seve Ballesteros? Incredible shot that was oh wow that was that was well done thank you okay i better get it inside of that after seeing that he's back there by the houses yeah <laughs> okay. i thought i bladed that one pretty good yeah, that's what happens what happens yeah that actually uh and i had to hit it underneath that tree there and you know i'm gonna be honest that's what i thought i was gonna do and i think i just got lucky and accidentally did it
All right, come on, Neil. Just chip this one in. This is this is all you. Thought that was what I wanted to do. But yeah, it, that first bounce really killed it. I'm still getting used to this 58 degree. Yeah, it actually is just sits so good. Yeah, it's just stops. Go ahead, Neil. You put this in first. Again. Whole hump par, but still, you got it. I'll be working on that because that honestly, that is that's chip in territory. Yeah, you shouldn't even have to work on that. So. Well, that's why we come out and play. Yeah, well, I'm to get better and hopefully help you guys get better. Point of emphasis is to work on that shot a lot. Yep. That's where you spend a lot of time practicing. And that's the important thing coming out and practicing. I mean, you can't just come out, you know once a month or once a year sometimes and expect to put a low number you got to work this game it's a great game but you got to work at it and work on being <laughs> frustrated at times Knock it in there, that'd be a great up and down. Good. What the heck? You just hit it too hard, I guess. I guess second I time today. It's the second time today. That should have still gone in. I mean, oh. I'm trying to be aggressive with it, but. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, we're, uh, we're, we're wordless here, <laughs> just speechless. Yeah, all right, so hard, but all right, well, we're gonna right. go to the last hole. We got one more hole. It is what it is. We yep. still left. having fun. Yep, we're two over, so we got one more hole to get a birdie. All right, hole 18. We got probably 410, 415. It plays uphill. Hey, I apologize if I showed a little bit of my frustration on the last hole. I tell you what, I have a lot of energy and passion for this game. It's just who I am. So I take it as a positive because I will work my tail off on the chipping area now because I've had some bad chips today and that's not sitting well with me. But uh, I do like how I'm hitting and playing. So, all Time. right, we got one more hole. One more hole. Then we're going to hit it. End with a good note. Yep. He has pounded that. And that should be perfect. That should be really good. You really, great ball flight on that one. Really good ball flight. Let's see if I can replicate that. Nothing better than in and out a good couple swings here. Yeah, we're doing good. Uh, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't shoot as low as we want, but I tell you what, the overall feel that me and Kyle have right now is very positive about how we're swinging. We're hitting some shots. We need to shore up a couple of things around the green, both of us, but that's a little bit of practice time. We haven't practiced as much chipping as we wanted lately and putting, so, but that's why we get out here and play. All right, good swing, good setup, man. Nice. Well, he just, Shot tracer is going to show you almost right on top of mine. Oh, oh whoa, whoa. Wow. Uh, it's all right. So it just went in the rough. He hit it 10 more. He air mailed me again. Dude, that, that, that hit the, firm, the firmest spot in the I'll tell you, line. the other thing I'm upset about is the distance I'm hitting. It looks like I'm going to be in the gym this week. I'm working on some power cleans and some power snatches <laughs> to catch this guy. It's really upsetting well, me. I think you just need to eat more. Okay, there you it's have it. It's a lot easier to eat. There you have it. All right, got, what'd you say I have in here? 140? Uh, I shot 142 from the cart and- so That means I got 137, 136? Yeah, to an elevated green. And this green always seems to play long. Yeah, it's, the wind's helping, that's, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit a little three quarter, not down. Try to flight it, not full. See if I can't hit this in there and make a birdie. He hit that on the screws. It's turning a little bit. A little 
deep. A little deep. You hit that too well. Well, the lie got me a little bit to yeah. it. It's all right. About 40 feet. But still, when you hit it that well, it's good. After seeing that, though, I think I might hit pitch wedge. You can hit pitch wedge because you're five more yards closer than I am. He had a great drive. He just hit yeah, it. Again, he just doesn't know his own strength. You know, it's like this guy. I think he wakes up in the morning, he's like Herschel Walker and does 500 push-ups. You know, yeah, look, at, look at those exactly, pie pie arms. That's, that's exactly what I do. That's exactly what I do. Pitch and wedge, I don't even think you got to hit this pitch and wedge hard. It's sitting down a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Start it right over the top of the spot. It's going to turn out. Yeah. Yeah, just get your legs strong. It's, it's very tough when you got it above your feet like that. Okay, all right. He's left himself 61 yards here. That was a tough lie. He, he's going to move on to the next shot here. He's got this new 60 degree S grind, Mac Daddy. We're going to see how he does with this thing. He hit the solid. Okay, come on, kick a little bit right. Kick a little right. Well, actually, a little, but I'll tell you what, he's pin high. I'm gonna zoom in up there and we can look at that. Yeah, so he's right there. It's not too bad. He's gonna have himself a chance 20 feet. All right, we'll see you at the green. All right, walking up here. You can see I was a little short. Didn't really make the best contact on that, but see if I can squeeze out a par there. Neil's right there. Oh, sorry about that, Neil. All right, Neil hit that that shot in there really, really solid. Now he's now he's got that chance to make that great chip shot. Oh my goodness gracious! Nice up and down. He said he was going to work on it, folks. Put that with a pitching wedge. Yeah, a little pitching wedge. Yeah, it rolled out nice. Kind of tough to see the hole there. There you go. Hey, way to finish with the par. All right. Thank you. Way to finish with the par. All right. See if I can do the same. I think after two lip outs today, it's time. It's time. I'll tell you what, you know, he rolls the ball well. Those two pots to hit. You have to be aggressive out here. Um, he's going to keep a good positive outlook on this. Yeah, he's got it lined up well. It looks like he's got it perfectly aimed. Let's see what he does here. See if we can get the right speed. All right, hopped on him a little bit, but it's trying to work back. That hop got you right at the beginning. Yep. It hit something. That was a good roll. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, that was the conclusion. Our right, episode three. We played nine holes. I was two over. Kyle was four over. Make sure you like and subscribe and check out our awesome website, barnhillgolf.com.